Hi, welcome to a gorgeous afternoon in Chesterfield. What we're going to look at today is the chagoy that I got from Adam Bayer Koi Farm back in October time last year. I bought 10 chagoy at an inch to two inch and these are hand selected but again I'm not expecting anything fantastic or anything show quality. All I'm looking at is growing on the koi to get, gain a bit of more experience and to enjoy the hobby. Before we have a look at them, please, if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, check out some more videos when this one's finished. If you like this video, please hit the like button at the bottom corner. If anybody's interested in any chagoy, please sit back, watch the video and then drop me a message. As mentioned earlier, we've got an IBC that's been converted with a deck around the outside. We've got a bottom drain in there and the bottom drain feeds a 12,000 litre Pond Expert Spring Clean Auto that then goes through a heater, it also then goes through a tempest and returns by the back of shower into the pond, into the MAC. So there's an auto feeder on there that feeds every two hours and it feeds a small amount because there's only 10 fish in there but it feeds every two hours from 6am through till 8 o'clock at night. Through the winter the water was held at between 20 and 22 degrees but since about February time, it's been sat at 18 degrees and now it's just at so whatever temperature the ambient weather is. Got the machine over the top, one to stop and jumping out and two to stop anything getting in there. We've got a river and a sanctuary behind us that's got kingfishers and also herons. I'll have a look inside and then I'll bowl them up. Too shy of where you can see these at the moment. There's 10. There's the 10 we started with, and you can see there's a massive difference. This small one here at the bottom is 5 inch, and that little bit there is 10 inch. Apart from the size, there's only one difference that you can see between them. Has got a scuff scales, but it looks like a scuff scale on the side. And one of them does have a gold looking spot on its dorsal fin. There we go, that one there. 
that spot, it's just a silver scale. It's like say five inches the smallest in the middle. The rest are definitely above six inch with two, four, five of them being over eight, between eight and ten inch. Two little ones I'm going to keep in the grow on tank. A couple of the others I'm going to put in my main pond if anybody's interested in any of the others. Or maybe once the little one or the big one just give me a shout. I'll swap cameras and see if that gives us a better look on these. This is the GoPro now. I'm trying to cut the sunlight out but I can do it if I can. They're the six littlest ones. I don't know if you can see the sun. Actually, do look nice in the sun, to be honest. That's a little one at five inch. That's the one at six inch. And the other ones are between seven and that one's definitely eight. Before I've put in the main pond, it's still available if anybody wants them. It's got a bit more room, hopefully, the lengthways used to grow a bit more. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I know it's only a short one, but it was mainly about the Chagoy and it's getting around the time to move them on to new homes. So like I said before, I may have mentioned it several times, please, if you're interested in any of the Chagoy, whether it's the four larger ones that's in the pond that's about nine inch, or whether it's any of those in there, please drop me a line, give me a text message, give me an email, check me out on Facebook, check me out on Instagram, whatever form you want, please just drop me a message. I'm not asking hundreds of thousands of pounds, anything like that for them, just for something to uh, know that they're going on to a good home. So like I say, if anybody's interested, message below. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and when you've hit the like button, you can check out some more videos. From the beautiful, gorgeous afternoon in Chesterfield, happy ponding.